Monday's footy news here on AFL.com.au. Hello everyone, Matt Thompson with you. Well, we begin at Carlton. It was like a cavalcade this morning, one after the other. Blues players rocking up for scans. Of course, headlined by Mark Murphy. More on him in a moment. We also saw Lockie Henderson. He has a groin concern. Nick Digan with his calf niggle. Both of them arriving before their superstar teammate. He turned up with his arm in a sling for scans on his shoulder. Um, I know it's a sprained AC joint, but um, to what level, not too sure yet, but probably a few weeks at least, I would have thought. I've got to focus on myself, but also the team. Obviously not playing great footy at the moment, so, um, but yeah, personally got to try and get this right so I can get there as quick as possible. Murphy's injury, a major blow to a side reeling from consecutive losses, but the skipper says there's no use dwelling on it. You know, generally people's memory in, in AFL is about two weeks. Um, so, as, as I said, we don't need to get sucked into thinking that the world's falling apart. We've got some things we need to work on and some things we need to fix, and, and we'll do that this week. Life could be easier for the Blues this week, facing a hapless Melbourne. Liam Jarra injured on return. His ankle isn't broken, but he's still facing up to six weeks out. Contrasting scenes at Essendon, where life couldn't be better, and no one wants a rest, even as the Bombers travel to play the Giants for the first time at Skoda Stadium. I'm pretty sure the senior players that are playing senior footy don't want to rest in case these guys too jump up and take their spot. So it's important that everyone keeps up their form and keep playing good footy and playing their roles within the team or else they could find themselves back in the reserve. Adelaide is also a happy place and the reasons are simple according to Bernie Vince. The setups aren't that much different. It's just the way we, I think the, the biggest improvement we've had is, is more people were uh, um, you know, contributing to the to the end result. Um, we're re relying on, as I said, relying less on individuals and, and more relying on the team effort. So um, if someone's a little bit off or someone gets tagged out of the game, we've got other guys that have stand, stood up. So um, I think that's a really strong, strong thing to have in a side. The Hawks are already turning their attention to Richmond's midfield. It's one of the best. I think um, they've got a really good mix in there at the moment of... Uh, of their inside players and their outside players and their midfielders are kicking goals as well and they're going forward and, um, and contributing down there as well. So uh, without a doubt, they've got a, a terrific balance um, and uh, have got the ability to, to have a huge impact on the game. Captain Luke Hodge in doubt still facing more scans on his injured knee. Early days after Nat Fife's shoulder surgery at Fremantle, but the Dockers midfielder has told afl.com.au he wants to be back well before the finals. I've roughly got my sights set on about round 18, yeah. um, but I'm not really setting that in stone because I know how, um, how up in the air injuries can be and how things can change really quickly. So round 18 sort of my rough goal, but um, either side of that would be, would be quite handy. In Brisbane, the Lions are in recovery mode after thumping the Giants by 92 points, but they'll have to raise their game again when they travel to play what's expected to be an angry Kangaroos lineup this coming weekend. We haven't really played too many teams in a, in a similar spot to us. We played some really good quality sides um, who are playing really well and, and um, obviously some teams towards the, the bottom of the ladder. So it's going to be a really good test for the boys and um, we're all looking forward to it. While down near the beach, the Gold Coast Suns think they're not far from a win. We, we showed um, two weeks ago, if you like, that one quarter of footy's not going to win it and probably on the weekend again, two and a half quarters of footy aren't going to win it. So uh, I'm sure the boys are keen because of the home crowd and in front of the... The stadium, the fans, supporters want to really dig deep and make sure that um, you know it's another opportunity for us to win at home. And that is a look at what's happening in footy this Monday. Of course, right throughout the week, we'll have the very latest from your team with reporters and cameras all across the country. Click back soon.